say, man. Y'all already know who it is. Pull up like money. Get money. We ain't never slumming on God. Good morning, good morning, good morning, JBT family. Uh, just finished hooking up a roll-off bin. Getting ready to take a, a big load down to the landfill. But before I hit the landfill, I'm gonna go do an estimate uh, out here in District Heights for a client. Could be potential work for us. Pop's gonna ride with me, he's already in the truck. So uh, you guys stay tuned to when I ride to the estimate, then it's gonna be some landfill footage. Got the big girl hooked up. Paint beast. As you guys can see, just arrived class house I believe a lot of the items right over here on the side yeah I'm around the corner how you doing and it's all these bags and stuff right over from here too. The TV up under there, just in the bag, the rug. So pretty there. much just the toys, these things. Yes. And everything else. Yeah. Okay. And then um, this stuff back here. All right. Clothes. All right. You call somebody the way I'm Oh, you the boss. Alright. Yeah. Alright. You want the location? Alright, you guys, you can see down here at the line for right now. It's about to trigger to the hill. I'm right on top of this bad boy. Uh, yep, it's pretty dry down here today, so we're going to make it happen. You said what? Oh, I'll just pour something right quick. It was really windy right here, so I muted the original audio. I was just saying that we added those hooks to the top of the uh, trailer now, so that way we won't have to be going with the tarp all the way behind the doors. We can just tarp the whole load up at the uh, top of the boards. We cut them off, because at first, the things had to come all the way down here, like on the sides and hook. Down here, and we didn't want it to come down here no more, so we might have to spray it with some uh, squashy, little glossy spray paint primer a little bit, so the rust won't happen. So we made it easy, so it be nice and flush with everything at the top. So now we're getting ready to go down to the hill. See how they work out. So that way when I'm like driving and I want to get some good feedback, I can talk to you guys where them kids still keep my attention on the way. Stay to your right. Don't mess my video up. Pops hit one bump and he's so dramatic. Wow. 
That. Oh my God! You right? They did these, bro. Cause my right hand, I had it, but then the wheel made me slip. So I'm like, oh shit, I can't catch it this time. <laughs> oh Lord, here Posco calling me. Like one or two up top, and whatever the shit on the side, like you done, maybe a box on the side. 
So what we, what we doing? Oh, put, put that on last. Put your box rings on first. Box rings. Yes, sir. I put one on this side, lean you on this side. Come on, sir. Hold on. All right. So as you can see, me and Trey right here, and with this sensors, of course, you know, I asked Pops to stay in the truck, but he he never does it. Pops got to give him input. God damn, he act like I can't Pop think. Pops knows what's best. Hey, look here. Look here. I don't give a fuck. Not one bit. <laughs> Just right here. Look. Look right here. Look right here. We're gonna get a little crank. Put right here on the thing and spin it and take the door right all in for you. This is on the Home car. before self. What'd you say, Troy? I was under the car. Oh, yeah. I'm going to eat you forward a little bit to close the gate. Yeah. All right. Oh. Well, what we're getting ready to do now, instead of us, like how you usually see us come back and offload it to the bins, I'm getting ready to take this bad boy back to the landfill and get all this stuff off because some of this stuff is wet, nasty, it stinks. And yeah, I'm not, not doing no double, double dipping. A few moments later. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Had Trey here. It's uh, Sunday, it's March 27th. And uh, we're getting ready to head out and do a repeat climb of ours. That's over in the Temple Hills area. Done, this will be about my third time going to them. So we're going to take this truck, the trailer we was using yesterday. And um, after that, I might have a potential, we might have a potential second job that wants to be done. Um, Young lady has uh, about, I think, two items of fish tank and something else inside of her house. She wants removed. Then I have a third estimate. Third estimate I need to do also in Temple Hills. Uh, the guy that has some construction to bring in some bags. I think he said he demoed a bathroom or something or some some part of his house that had like concrete in it and it's like uh, broken up in an industrial uh, contractor bag. So you guys stay tuned. It's pretty windy. I have a jacket already in the truck and um, we're getting ready to head out to the first job. It's not too far from us, about 10 minutes from us. So. Stay tuned. I'll show y'all when we get there. All right, JBT family. Um, but the first job fell through, man. Um, when we got there, literally, he was the guy's about maybe six minutes from here, maybe five minutes less than that, whatever. Uh, no call, nothing. You know, we had a schedule. I went and seen him this past Monday, and uh, we agreed on a price to do the job. He said, cool. He said, I'll be home Sunday. I don't work. You come by Sunday, 10 o'clock. Okay. So we just left from there about 15 minutes ago. And I uh, pull up there, ring the doorbell a couple times, nobody really came. So uh, me and Trey walked to the side of the house and we looking, and I'm, well, he didn't really know at first, I'm looking and I'm like, well, none of the stuff's there. <laughs> I didn't even see the pool in the back y'all we supposed to be getting. So then I guess uh, the young man's son, I mean, it, you know, the son comes to the door. He's like, oh yeah, uh, somebody was just here yesterday, man, man, they took all the stuff. Wow. Huh? What the fuck y'all? God damn! God damn! God damn! And I'm saying to myself, hmm, uh, make a long story short, um, it wasn't good business. If you, if you know, if, if clients, you, this, is, this was a repeat client of mine too, I'm not gonna say no names, but if you know you don't wanna have the work done, the correct thing to do and polite, you know, thing to do, courteous thing, is to call back, say, hey, Justin, um, I appreciate you for coming out. I know we agreed on this date, but I ended up getting somebody else to do it. So uh, there's no need for you to come the next day. I appreciate it. Uh, keep your mind for something else in the future. Uh, and I would have been cool with that, but you don't have somebody still come out the day of, no text, no call, no communication. And, you know, that's not cool. So, you know, you guys let me know if that's ever happened to you. I'm pretty sure it's probably happened to y'all once or twice before. But leave down in the comments when y'all watch this. Let me know how y'all usually handle things like that. Would you still want to deal with a client like that? Or would you, you know, X them out?
mans is this? Get him the fuck out of here. Ready? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Get the hell out of here. Hey guys, so we're here, right here at the first estimate, like I said. And we're getting ready to look here at uh, this construction of Reedus and Bags. As you guys can see, it's a lot of broken up pieces like tile and concrete mix. And I'm pretty sure a lot of these bags got some yeah. weight to them. Yeah. Mostly <laughs> all of them. As you can still see, a lot of it's on the ground. And, uh, yeah, most definitely we need shovel cans. You know, or maybe the little utility cart, but you know, I think the dolly and the cans could work and do this. Dolly and to get them to the trailer. Like you say, if the driveway's empty, you could just back right in here and then load them up. But uh, getting ready to let y'all guys know what I would charge something like this. All right, guys, so the verdict's made. Uh, I made my mind up due to the fact that you could get the truck and trailer, or rather I bring the white truck to do something like this. Like I say, the young gentleman, he doesn't want it done to April the 1st anyway. Um, so 450. I quote hundred dollars do this job, including disposal fee, uh, due to the fact there's some weight here with the concrete, and it's gonna be pushing an easy a little bit over quarter load, and that's still with disposing of the uh, concrete too. So uh, yeah. All right, you guys. What is a hook on that bird bag? Me and Trey just arrived at the client's house now. Uh, I'm ready to go check out. This fish taking a uh, second item that I still can't remember right now. So uh, you guys stay tuned. Get ready to walk in the house. <laughs> Got the truck with us. You ready to have it done today? <laughs> I don't know. It's a lot of action going on right here. Oh yeah, this is a big one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, JBT family. Uh, here's the first thing we're gonna be removing today slash demo. Got cuts on the PVC plate. Welcome, first thing like thing right here. And everything. So Trey, what he's doing now? He's loosening up some of this uh, sand so tight the debris in here so he can scoop it out. And I'm gonna work on one once I get settled because I'm the PVC pipe down. And Trey have already broken the doors off now. I'm gonna right start cutting some of the PVC pipe in the back. Y'all can see the whole motor at the bottom of the PVC pipe over. He's already cleaned out some of the uh, debris off in here. Hey, if I can start cutting my pipe out, it'll be easier once we go to take a look at the next one. Yeah, they in general. Just... Hey, I'm gonna cut some Yeah, with that tank. 
Which way are you going? This way. Yeah, want to, uh, uh. This way? Yeah, I want to see something. Okay. Watch the camera. Yeah, watch your stuff, That would have been it. Here you get on, girl. I want to see if we can make it through. Okay, I got it. Oh, watch it, watch it, watch it. Come on, this way, son. Hold on, hold on. I just stepped on it. All right, guys. I don't know how we did it, but me and Trey muscled it up there. We just put it up, carried it out, put it on the trail. They need how to use the back one. Good Lord, it was heavy though. There she go, heavy beast, heavy beast. Period, Pooh. Period, Pooh. Just leave it back up. Why do you say lift with your legs, not your back? Your legs. Nah, that trash can yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just finished them all this. Excuse me, puppy. I got a Yorkie, he's saying this little thing. Yes, it's third thing. Yeah, it's that fish poop. Mm. Actually, 
you know what? This is supposed to be good nutrients for your grass. Oh, okay. There you go. Fish tank. There you go. Give me some. Got it? Yeah. Oh, no. You should. Yeah, I got it. I just need the corner. Watch your head. I need a little bit of hell. Oh, yeah. That just took me so well. YouTube, bro. Always live with your knees, shorty. That tank was heavy as you know what. Get this carpet up. Yeah. Focus on the top of the machine up. Excuse me, right quick. Put the camera over here. Yeah, you know, you're on. You're on. All right, JBT family. You're done. As you guys can see, uh, me and Trey are actually, I thought it was going to take us close to like an hour to do it. Maybe pretty, made pretty much quick work out of this. Thought we was gonna have to use a dolly and strap it down and carry it all the way around back, but nope. Got all the remains up, took it right out through the garage onto the utility trailer. So let me ask good man right quick in a second. You got anything you want to say, Troy? How you feel this went? Uh, it was easier than I thought. Yeah. Thank God that wasn't the the whole tank wasn't one thing. Right. And hey, we cut the pipes, which made it a lot easier. Yep. The tank was heavy. It definitely was. Heavy as heavy. 150 gallons? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, uh. I didn't know acrylic alone was that heavy. That's glass. What acrylic? I didn't know glass alone was that heavy. Yeah, that's what it is. Alrighty. Alright, so, uh, as you can see, we're done. Back in the truck now. Trey's chilling. Both here. I'm just going to finish up by saying, um, like I said, everything went good. We got the heaviest part out, which was the damn top part of the fish tank. You know, with the base and everything, all the glass and a little bit of steel debris in the bottom of the tank. Um, we demoed the bottom somewhat, cut a little bit of PVC pipe. We broke the rest, just, you know, cracking the wood and pushing it down like we usually do anything else. And, um, yeah, so we getting ready to head back to the crib and load a little bit of shit, call it a day on a good Sunday. 
So with that being said, um, just for this job, just for this job, you guys, I didn't tell you guys what I charge for this. I'm gonna leave that up to y'all. Y'all guess in the comments like y'all did in like two, three videos ago. What do you think I charged the cover side and uh, remove this fish tank? Which we both did in under an hour. That was impressive because we both were surprised. Uh, get the job done. So with that being said, JBT family, from your boy and from Trey, we signing out. Till next time. money that's what i say money. one more time for him. easy money that's what i'm talking about <laughs> yes sir <laughs> hey man say man y'all ain't know who it is pull up like money get money we ain't never slumming on god